Hello and welcome to yet another Stephen Mendes video. In the previous videos that we did for Digital Electronics 1, you learned how to use the input functions of the flip-flops to implement synchronous finite state devices. We now apply the same principles to a simple 4-bit binary counter. As you can see, this counter counts from 0 to 15 in decimal, a 4-bit binary counter, and then it resets back to 0. We filled in the input functions for you using the flip-flop excitation table, and we have reduced the first four. The JD and KD clearly have no zeros, so they're equivalent to one. The JC and KC, when we have plotted them on the Carnot maps, reduce to just D. Both of them reduce to D. Now we plot the KB and JB and the KA and JA, and we see that the JB reduces to CD, and so does the KB, the same thing, and the JA reduces to BCD, and the KA reduces to BCD. This is a pattern with all binary counters. It follows this pattern. Finally, we write all the flip-flop input functions and we draw the logic diagram just as we did in Digital 1. As you can see, the same clock pulse feeds all four flip-flops simultaneously. That is the key to synchronous behavior. All the flip-flops are going to change state at the same time because they're all fed from the same clock. Thank you for watching this Stephen Mendes video and this serves as an introduction to asynchronous logic design. In the next video, we will implement the asynchronous version of the counter and we will show how to make that count to various count lengths. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.